Today, I'll show you how to create a clean double exposure effect in Canva. It's simple and quick, so let's get started. All right, first, let's add an image to our design. I've already prepared a few images for this demo, and I'll be using this athlete photo. I'll flip the image to the opposite side, make it larger, and position it the way I want. Next, I'll remove the background, then crop out any extra parts to keep only the area I need. Once that's done, I'll duplicate the page. Now select the image, go to Background Remover, and switch to Restore Mode. With the Brush tool, I'll carefully restore the right side of the image. After that, I'll select the white background and change its color temporarily, so I can see things more clearly. Later, we'll adjust this color again. Next, I'll press T to add text and move it to the left side. I'll type in my text, increase its size, and make it uppercase for a bold look. Then I'll change the font to Anton, increase the size a bit more, and set the color to white. Now I'll select the athlete image. Go to Edit. Open the Duotone option, choose Custom, and change both color settings to white. Once it's ready, I'll download this image. Make sure to select the current page only before downloading. After downloading, I'll delete everything from the canvas. Then I'll go to Elements. Choose the background I want, and set it as the main background of the design, and adjust its position. Next, I'll add the image we just downloaded. I'll make it larger to fill the design and remove its background. Then, I'll copy the athlete image from the above page, and paste it here. Now I'll select the text image again, go to Edit, open Duotone, choose Custom, and set both colors to white. It's already looking good. For the final step, let's blend the athlete image with the background to create that perfect double exposure effect. To do this, go to Apps and search for Image Blender. Open the app, Select the image and choose the linear option. This will add two points on the image. If one of them isn't visible, that can happen if you cropped the image. Just reduce the preview size. Then expand the bottom area. Now select the linear tool. Adjust the blending points however you like, so the image merges smoothly with the background. You can also fine-tune the strength setting to control how strong or soft the blending looks. Once you're happy with the result, click Save, and your double exposure design is ready. And that's how you can create a double exposure or photo blending effect in Canva. If you'd like to learn more about the Image Blender app and how it works, I've already created a detailed tutorial. You can check it out next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Canva tutorials.